guys and hey guys um we're doing a video on how to make a leopard gecko setup <clears throat> so basically you need a tank 10 10 gallon to 20 gallon tank or a tub like that i don't i just have notebooks in that one but <clears throat> in the tub i'm just gonna i'm just gonna use this for now because just this box, because that, I ain't, I ain't pulling out that tough. So basically what you need to get, <clears throat> well I have, I'm probably going to do this for my, um, eggs that, oh, Cookie will hatch when she gets a little bit older, but <clears throat> what I will use, I would use, <clears throat> so, I got these from like, I think it was a, um, a, um, mushroom, um, tin, tin thing, and then I just cut a little square out of it, put that down in there, down in there, and you need a water bowl, <clears throat> and then, but I do, I don't even have a food bowl. I just feed them like by hand, kind of. Not really by hand because I sh like put it in front of their face and then I drop it and then they eat it. But And then, well, you need to hide something for a heat source. So, a heat source and. Uh, probably a cold hide, a cool hide. So just get two of these, a water bowl, which what I, I've used is this fruit bowl. I'll actually go get it right now. You can see cookie wall. I'm at it. It's pretty dark in there, but it's better than, okay, I'm going to go get it. I'm back, and this is probably a little bit too big. It's probably, yeah. That's probably what you would want to use for a backup. Or like this. We, I, I, I was being fancy and bought, bought like a stone marble. Like this would be for a normal size leopard gecko. What this could be, if you had fire rare, Fire belly newts at F's. Just cut um cut a little square into that and that could be a pretty good hide. So yeah. This could be a water bowl. And yeah, that's it. 